All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at NVIDIA GDC, and look who I have with me, Thomas Bean, CMO at Domino. Thomas, welcome to the Robert Show again, <laughs> because you have such amazing insights to share always, and it's always good to you know get your perspective at different trade shows and learn more about you know the partnerships that you have. And uh, I'm excited, but uh, I'm pretty sure the audience also knows you pretty well by now. But do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? What are you working on? And just just for our audience. Absolutely. So very quickly, first of all, thanks for having me again. Uh, great to be with uh, you and the and the audience. So my name is Thomas Bean. I run marketing at uh, Domino Data Lab, and we provide an AI platform that brings together everything you need to run an AI lifecycle in a context of an enterprise. We bring the different teams together, we bring the infrastructure, such as NVIDIA, and we bring also all the data, and we allow enterprises to have a predictable and agile life cycle to make sure that the uh, models get to production and they can transform their business uh, with it. And we uh, do a lot, especially in highly regulated industries, where notion like responsible AI, security are very important and need to track how the models are built and used. Very interesting, and uh, I'm also kind of excited about hearing a little about the NVIDIA angle, like what's the partnership look like in, I know NVIDIA invested in Nomino, right? Absolutely, so we're very proud to have uh, India as an investor, they inv invested a, a few years ago, and since then we've been growing our partnership continuously. Uh, we were uh, among the first platforms to be uh, DGX ready, uh, okay. And then we were the first platform actually uh, to be enterprise AI ready and we can run on the same uh, on the same devices from VMware, from Lenovo, from Dell, from Itachi Vantara. So a lot of uh, a joint value proposition which is very important. Yeah. We also co-innovate. Uh, we can actually deploy the models built in Domino to the edge via fleet command. And we also co-innovate. We launched a few months ago an architecture, a hybrid architecture. So you can actually mm -hmm. run Domino with a control plane in the cloud and you can actually have the processing of the data on premises or on different cloud, we call this Nexus. And Nvidia was actually a launch partner. And finally, I know there's a lot, no, uh, finally uh, we launched an AI hub where you have a lot of templates for our customers to uh, have like starting points of projects and nice. uh, you have everything you need to leverage uh, Nvidia Nemo. Uh, I've provided oh. us templates, NVIDIA and us collaborated on this. So it's an end-to-end -end 360 partnership with NVIDIA. This is amazing and uh, we've been hearing a lot, like I was at Jensen's keynote yesterday and he mentioned about names but a lot of lot around the enterprise here as well. And you work with a lot of enterprise systems. So I would love to know a little about the, how is, you know, obviously 2024 is the year for enterprise AI. That's what we've been hearing. But you've been doing this since last two years or maybe more. So can you tell us a little about that? Absolutely. Yeah, we've been doing enterprise AI for more than two years. Yeah. For roughly 10 years, we were built to do this. Uh, I think, if, I do, if you don't mind, I'm going to rephrase yes, a little please. bit. I think 2024 is the year of value for AI. Mm. That implies actually going to production. That implies having confidence to put things in production and leverage, uh, leverage all the value there is to, to be leveraged. So that's why uh, enterprise, uh, enterprises are looking at addressing some of the things that hold them back. How do they manage the right skills or how do they upskills the team or make sure that they have access to the right tools? Right. How do they make sure uh, that they can control the cost? This is actually pretty important. Exactly. All of this is wonderful and uh, Jensen talks about, oh, we need bigger GPUs, but there's a cost implied, so how do you manage this cost so that it's aligned with the value? Exactly. How do you make sure also that you have a predictable way to go to production in a short time so that you can really create a difference? And then finally, the responsible AI, responsible AI is more than a, a trend and a, and a keyword. Exactly. There is responsibility, there are risks related to AI and how do you control this in the, uh, the, the best way. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, you're right about, you know, obviously the cost because that's what I've been hearing from the enterprise leaders as well, that we want to work on the cost. That's one of the most important things for us. If we are on cloud, obviously there's a lot of cost that kind of comes into the play and I think you guys are planning, you know, you guys are actually out there helping them do that. Absolutely, what we, we've launched a few, uh, few months ago actually FinOps capabilities okay, where nice. actually yeah. data science leaders or IT leaders can have visibility on the use of infrastructure, can actually manage a budget, can yeah. back charge, so they have complete control. They can also put set guardrail, so that's an important uh, element that helps them have this confidence uh, in terms of knowing they are going to create value from AI. FinOps is important. 
Yeah, for sure. Pretty cool. Okay, awesome. So uh, I'm gonna also ask you a little about how does Domino fit into the names because that was one big topic yesterday that uh, I heard from Jensen. Absolutely. So the notion uh, we were very excited when we heard about NIMS. Uh, yeah. In, in general, the notion of putting models in containers is something we've actually been doing for quite, it's part of how Domino works when you get into production. Exactly. This is what is, is provided to the DevOps team. So the fact of having NVIDIA going behind this concept and creating an, an ecosystem is absolutely great. So it's going to be very easy for us to actually help our customers leverage NEMS, but also provide everything that is required to get these NEMS into production. You need to combine it with different models, you need security, sure. You also need uh, to put your own models in the same context, and that's what we can help doing. And then finally, as I mentioned, responsible AI or governance is important. We can bring this governance. So, very excited to have NVIDIA really push uh, the, um, the envelope on this front. Yeah. And uh, we have a, an even better together story uh, to, to tell right now. So, super excited about NIMS. Very faster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, all right, and also, since we are on this topic of enterprise, I would love to know a little about the use cases as well. You have so many customers in the enterprise world. Do you want to share something? Absolutely, so we work with, uh, with big enterprises, and uh, some of my favorite uh, use cases are related to life sciences. Uh, a lot of our customers right. are actually using the models they create to find new drugs from existing data, find also new ways to treat patients, to identify the best patients they should have in the trials. All of this accelerates the time it takes to create drugs and take them to market, right. and actually makes all of us healthier. In the uh, financial world, uh, investment banking are actually changing the way they do research, leveraging AI so they can actually be even more aggressive and, and uh, have, take decisions that are going to make them more effective. But insurance companies are also using AI models they create with Domino to make sure they have fair products, right. that all the customers are treated well, they use it to, uh, to fight fraud. There are also many use cases in the public sector, some of them I can't talk about, and some of them yeah. uh, related to our, uh, us as a citizens, our security, uh, with agencies that control our food and our, and our drugs. So plenty of, uh, of various use cases. This is the future, AI is going to be everywhere, and we allow enterprises to have this ability to just transform in this way. This and, is awesome. and, and transform our life as well, making us healthier, making exactly. us safer. So. Exactly, I always love companies who are working with healthcare because it becomes interesting where with data science, with data engineering, you are actually helping lives to, you know, in healthcare. We, we love this environment. It's a very scientific environment. Uh, there's a lot of math involved, of course, exactly. but also there's a purpose that is fascinating. And every week, every day that you gain might mean that you save a life or you make an impact. It's important for them as businesses. It's also important for us. So that's uh, one of the many ways uh, AI is shaping our future. and in a safe way and it's exciting. That's but they are awesome. also very regulated. This is when they use us. Yeah. They, are, they are very controlled and such and this is why they like the Domino platform. They know exactly what has happened when. Uh, so that's that's part of the reason they use us. Exactly, I love it. And uh, quickly, since we are here at NVIDIA, what do you have for uh, the people who are visiting the booth? I know you guys are doing some amazing giveaway. So. Thank you for saying so. Yeah. If you watch Jensen's keynote yesterday, he yeah. went to the robotics section, he spoke a lot about Jetsons. Exactly. And Jetsons are hard to find. We have two of them to win. Wow. If you come and visit us, booth 1612. So make sure you come, have a discussion with us, and there's going to be a raffle. We have two, one today, one tomorrow to win. So please join us. We'll have a great discussion. We're welcoming people. Yes. But also we have a, you may win something very cool and very coveted. I love it. I love what you guys are doing. Thanks for doing this, Thomas, again. And it's always fun to chat with you, learn more about what's happening in the enterprise world, how are you kind of solving those problems for the healthcare space, but not only just that, many other enterprises as well and other industries. So thanks again for doing this, and uh, it was such a pleasure to host you on The Robert Show. Pleasure as always. Thanks. Thanks, Thank everybody. You, Bye.